so here's my poor aquarium started off with some pretty cool fish pretty much everyone died <laughs> um, neat theme was going for like a gladiator effect I was gonna add an arena uh, still thinking about it maybe a small one so all my original fish died I have this placosmus here I purchased later and he survived the overfeeding <laughs> from my cousin's kids <laughs> and so did two of his little brothers the uh, Siamese uh, algae eaters they survived two of the big ones I had two small ones in there too I don't know where they are <laughs> they did not survive I don't see them I haven't seen them I'm going to rearrange everything and cleaning it still battling the overfeeding but these are the survivors and I'll probably rename them with gladiator names I have to think about it so yeah I'm currently having to make water there's a five gallon bucket there's a I can make about two and a half gallons of water in that that's ready to go I, it takes time because I have to measure the temperature I have this I've had this for a while back when I used to work at AutoZone they sold this product and it's uh, infrared temperature uh, gauge so on the outside of the glass it's reading 72 if I stick it through the top here let me see what it reads it's actually slightly warmer like a degree and then I have some water made here I'm gonna fill this up with the water that I'm making in the two and a half gallon bucket this water is currently let's see good 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 reading it's, uh, about 69 so from 69 to 73 69 70 71 72 73 four degrees difference not too drastic considering the amount of water that's already in the tank we should be able to minimize any kind of um, shock to the fish that guy's inside the skull <laughs> he's pretty cool probably name him Gannicus I think that's the prop the right name Gannicus he's pretty big I always like to get a big placosimus because they eat the algae and I like to have lights so lights create algae especially um, fluorescent lights and any kind of UV lights so I'm just starting out and I'm just um, trying out the algae eaters and see what I can get out of them.